Welcome to The Founder, I'm Tasha Sejal and with me today is Ayanti from Stafford and Sean. How are you doing today? Good, thank awesome. you. Awesome. And uh, tell me a little bit more about your company, Stafford and Sean. Stafford and Sean is a 25-year-old company. It started in 1994 okay. by two ladies. But in 2012, I convinced Charlene to bring Stafford and Sean to Sri Lanka because Sri Lankans need to develop uh, in skills, competencies, mm -hmm. to transition and compete in at the international level. Yeah, that's amazing. So, Stefan and John, what exactly uh, is the company about? It's corporate training, coaching, and we train in service, communication, and leadership. Okay, okay, yeah. that's amazing. And you were someone who brought it down to Sri Lanka. That's right? right. Yes. Okay. So we are the only international training company, okay. I would say. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So what was it like? Like what really inspired you to like start on this and get on with it? What inspired me? So my background is different. I started off in operations, in technology, uh, totally different. Totally different. Right. I was in a dye house. Okay. In the apparel trade. Okay. <laughs> And I did rise in my career very fast because I guess I had communication skills. Okay. I could build good rapport with customers and suppliers. Mm -hmm. And when I looked around me, there were so many technologists who were so skilled, brilliant, but they just couldn't communicate. Oh, wow. And they couldn't build good rapport. They couldn't convince suppliers and customers. So I thought, I should give back what I gained in my corporate life. Okay. okay. And then I took the training. Oh, that's amazing. And uh, you will achieve quite a bit, I assume. And of course, uh, you know, getting into it at, in the beginning, I bet it's tough, right? So what was something that was challenging for you? What's challenging back then and now is the fact that companies look at training as a cost and not an investment. Mm -hmm. So, uh, when you look at developed countries, people are always investing in training and building up skills and competencies. Yeah. Um, in Sri Lanka, they don't look at human resource development or training and put it into their corporate strategy. Um, that's, that's the challenge. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty interesting that you say that at the same time uh, because, you know, there's a lot going on, especially in uh, Sri Lanka today. Yeah. So what is something that you would say is, you know, like lacking in Sri Lanka today in the year 2019? Lacking in Sri Lanka today? <laughs> Do you want me to start? <laughs> That's true. Uh, well, in my area, for sure, I think we could help a lot in terms of building skills. Okay in soft skills and communication skills. How do you present yourself at the international table mm -hmm. if you can't communicate? Yeah, that's true. If you can't communicate, well, you don't have to be brilliant in English, but you can still try to converse. Mm -hmm. You need to be confident. Yeah. You need true. to have soft skills. You need to get people to come to work every day and yeah. perform and be productive. Yeah. Because people leave the boss. They don't leave the company. Okay. So how do you build those skills and competencies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the reason why I asked you that is because you obviously have been around, you go to companies mm -hmm. and obviously you've seen certain things as well. So, so yeah, so that's basically something that uh, you would point out is lacking, right? Yeah, it is lacking it's, and it's very basic. Basic, yeah. Uh, you train people up, you yeah. get them to be better, then they perform better yeah. and that hits your profits. Yeah. It hits the bottom line and the company develops. Mm -hmm. So it, it's quite basic actually, yeah. but a lot of companies look at it as a cost okay. and not an investment. So Anthony, was it easy to get financing to do all of this? Well, I had savings mm -hmm. and I negotiated and brought it to Sri Lanka. It's yeah. a franchise. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah. And uh, something else that I want to know is, you know, what is exactly has been really helpful for you, like uh, your support system? Um, my family. Okay. Yeah. Because when I train, I wake up very early, I go exercise, I need lots of energy because you talk from 9 to 5. Okay. So you're basically like talking I the switch entirety. off. Yeah, I switch my phone off and I completely dedicate myself to my participants. Okay. Uh, which means uh, I can't be disturbed okay. at any point. <laughs> 
So yes, I do have a very good support system. Awesome. And what really drives you, like to get up out of bed every morning? Well, I, I, life. life. I, like, <laughs> I like changing perspectives, inspiring people. I love meeting new people. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's obviously something a part of uh, my job as well that I love doing, meeting yeah. new people. And it's always interesting to know everyone, you know, yeah. the, everyone you meet is always different story exactly. behind exactly. everything. Yeah. yeah, so you must be really enjoying it. I do, yeah. yeah. It's different. Yeah. And I like it. <laughs> so, Anthony, what is your definition of success? My definition of success would be looking back and thinking, oh wow, it wasn't so difficult. You know, at first, when you try to do something, it's it seems so hard, mm -hmm. and then you try and try, and you succeed. Yeah. And then you look back and think, it, it wasn't that difficult. It wasn't that difficult. <laughs> so, <laughs> what's the next one? What's yeah. the next challenge? Yeah, that's amazing. That's really inspiring as well to a lot of young people uh, trying to start their own business and do their own thing. What is a sort of advice that you would give for um, anyone today trying to make a name for themselves? Well, I think there are so many things. One is managing your time. Yeah. And use it wisely. Look at opportunity cost. Also, uh, having that sheer determination and drive and, and grit. Having checklists and making sure it's done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, That's a way important. to go. Being organized. <laughs> Being organized, yeah, and making sure it gets done. <laughs> Dedicating your time yeah. and not putting it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now that you're your own boss, is there anyone else you would like to work to? Work I don't with, mind rather. working for someone else. Okay. Uh, as long as I have the space and room to grow, yeah. I don't mind. Okay. And uh, obviously, since the show is called The Founder, I gotta ask you this. Is there anyone in mind that you feel inspired about? And you know, someone you wanna have dinner with? Like if you had the opportunity to have dinner with any founder in this world, locally or internationally, who would it be? Well, I would say founder. For us, we're not profit driven. We are more cause motivated. I'd like to think of ourselves as that. Yeah. Change agents. Uh, helping societies change and one inspiring person is Anthony Robbins okay yeah I'd love to meet people like him who are very inspiring and they can inspire masses of people and help elevate them yeah so that would be great for me that's good that's yeah. great I hope that happens though <laughs> yes, <I hope> it <laughs> will be a really funny story I'd like to meet his wife actually oh okay <laughs> he calls his age okay I'd like to meet her yeah uh, so, what's one market marketing strategy that you would like to share with us that uh, has helped you along the way? Well, I think our training and coaching programs speak for themselves. We never advertise. Uh, we never send out spam emails. Uh, when we do a great program, people talk about it. We get good referrals, high ratings, and that's how we get work. Okay. Yeah. So, Anthony, tell me about the programs that you are currently doing. What we do is in service, communication and leadership, in those categories, we have presentation skills, business etiquette, communication skills, effective communication skills, which runs a lot in Sri Lanka. Then we have service excellence. So these are our core programs. Okay. We also have coaching and mentoring programs. We coach managers. We have different leadership programs. Okay. So. The thing about our company is we go into the inside, uh, we analyze, and we customize the program. We never have programs off the shelf. And that's very important because there's no one size fits all. Yeah. yeah. Every company is different, every culture is different. So we make sure we go in and customize all the programs. Awesome. So you're pretty much exposed to everything. Yes. 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 Inside the company? No, not really. We just go and understand what the learning needs are. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. We don't go inside the company. We just understand what the learning gaps and the needs are okay. and what skills we really need to build because sometimes people may already have the skill. All right. So it's no point going and training them on it. Yeah. So what do they really need to be trained on? Okay. Is the That's very specific and very precise. That's yeah. amazing. And uh, this last question is from our venue sponsor, the Colombo Cooperative, uh, creating beautiful work.
workspaces like this and uh, letting people be creative at the same time giving everyone a chance to have their own thing going companies of all sizes and uh, this question is basically uh, what do you value most in your business and in life my value is to give your best mm -hmm. in anything and everything you do yeah. yeah that would be my value simple as that yeah and uh, that is a wrap for this episode with Ayanti and uh, well it has been an amazing one I really hope everything goes smoothly for you thank best you wishes for the year brand new year 2020 thank you and, and you too yeah thank you <laughs>